Okay, this is about how to rebuild a starter solenoid for a lawnmower, but actually it could work with any automotive solenoid, especially Ford. These are the contacts and you need to uh, clean those. There's the electromagnet and the actuator. You can see it's just a uh, electromagnet. And there are the 832 screws and lock nuts that we'll use to uh, replace the cover which we drilled out with a uh, drill drilling out the aluminum rivets okay there's the contacts back in cleaned and uh, mounted We took a Dremel with a wire brush, motorized wire brush, to clean those and to clean the contact that's put into position. I like to use a little bit of silicone grease on the contacts uh, to avoid some sparking. You may find uh, you don't like that, but I have found it to be worthwhile. That little spring is a return spring so that the contact doesn't uh, stay on accidentally once disengaged and here's the uh, the actual contacting mechanism to allow the 12 vo full 12 volts to go through to the starter okay should be working okay just press it up and down make sure it's okay all right okay the housing for the electromagnet that goes back in next and then the actuator with the uh, whole side down on top of the engaging mechanism and now put the actual electromagnet in place get it oriented properly and put it into the housing just a little tricky to get in there but uh, there she goes next we need to re-solder to the uh, to the connector to the switch to turn the solenoid on which would be positive so that's one side of the electromagnet winding the other side is the uh, the actual grounded you can see it's soldered and it's then grounded to the bottom of the case for the negative side here's the insulator get that in position and then we'll get the spring that makes contact with the electromagnet body and the negative ground of the bottom of the case okay now we put that into position and then instead of the rivets that we drilled out we'll put in the 832 uh, screws and lock nuts you don't want to necessarily over tighten these some of these cases are bakelite and could crack so you want to be gentle in your drilling and in your tightening you want it snug but not not so much that it cracks the body in this case it's plastic so it wasn't as much of a problem but the uh, Ford solenoids I uh, use a bakelite type of plastic which could crack Okay, basically, now that that's done, it'll go back into service once it's completed, and it's completed, all done, ready to go back and working. It's actually been tested.